Hey guys, it's Brittany. So today I wanted to share with you how to make this stat earrings organizer. So for this one, I'm going to be using this strainer that I had around the house. It's a plastic one. It's pretty old. I don't even remember where I bought it. But I'm going to be cutting out the mesh part. And because of the shape they usually have, I'm just going to be placing this with some like books on the top of it just to make this flat. Then I'm going to be taking a piece of cardboard. In this case, I'm using this record folder. Um, it's really old and I don't even have the record anymore. Cardboard piece will work. And so I'm just going to be cutting my mesh into a square, as big or as small as you want your organizer to be. Then I'm going to be tracing the shape, that shape of my mesh onto my cardboard, just so that I have an idea of how big this is. For the holder itself, I'm going to be making this smaller. So I'm just going to be marking like uh, to make this smaller. And then I'm going to go with my ruler and trace that with my ruler. For the top part of my holder, I'm just going to be marking one and a half centimeter all around. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing as I'm doing right now. Marking two spots and then just with my ruler making a line. And then just I'm going to erase the extra tracing that I did so I don't get confused. Then from there, I'm going to be marking two centimeters and this is for how high it's going to be. So pretty much I'm going to be doing the same thing as before, marking two centimeters all around and then with my ruler marking the lines. Then I'm going to be cutting that and this is how I'm cutting the part, like the middle part with my X-Acto knife or cutter until you have like a frame. I'm just going to be placing my mesh behind it so I know what it's going to look like. I'm going to be making some tabs, so I'm just going to be cutting four tabs like this. With my ruler and my hands, I'm just going to be folding this towards the back. I'm just trying to make a box. So if you have a, like a pretty box that you like the shape and everything, feel free to use that. But since I didn't have any, I'm just making one. So then I'm going to be folding those tabs towards the back of it. And before I glue them, I'm just going to be painting them with this white acrylic paint and my brush, covering everything except those tabs. Because I feel like it's going to glue better if I glue a piece of cardboard with a piece of cardboard instead of like piece of cardboard with paint going on the back and with my super glue I'm just gonna glue the mesh part being as straight as I can and just working with one side at a time just adding my glue and just with my fingers pushing it until nothing moves and yeah just take your time with each side until everything is glued and because I want to make extra sure that it's going to be glued I'm just gonna be adding some like leftover pieces of cardboard on the back of it then I can finally glue those steps pressing them the four of them and the reason that I didn't glue this before it's because i wanted to have like the freedom of like the space when i was gluing the mesh if that makes any sense at all then i thought it was done and i started to decorate it for this i'm going to be using this teal acrylic paint and this gold one and this adding tool that i do have the diy you can use a toothpick as well i just prefer to work with this one because i can clean it after and so i can reuse it again so i'm just going to be adding a bunch of dots all over the place and then once that's done i'm going to be adding some gloss just to make this nice and like shiny and pretty then I decided to add some like bigger dots of like those acrylic paints and then I uh, changed my mind because I didn't like how it looked but this is just so uh, that it, you can see the dotting tool that I used. I do have the DIY for this one as well but I went over those dots with my white acrylic paint and now I decided to add a base because I felt like it was missing something and so I am working with another piece of cardboard pretty much making square out of this I'm making the edges straight i didn't even measure this one at this point it was like over because i made a few mistakes uh, before this which i'm gonna show you in just a second but yeah once i have my square i'm just gonna be painting this and once that's dry i'm just gonna be gluing the top part in there i wanted to add something else because again something was missing and i didn't know what it was so i cut the edges like this should have done this before but i didn't know sometimes with my projects i just go and change my mind as i go i'm just going to be painting those edges and then the same thing as far as adding those zets all over the place the tiny ones and the big white ones and then just covering this with gloss and i was over this because i was going to post this last friday is now tuesday because i made a lot of mistakes with the same thing over and over again first i wanted to go for the same concept of adding a base but first i used this green for me paper pretty random this color but i didn't have like in white but i was going to be painting this i forgot to do this and so i started gluing the whole thing and then i realized that i forgot to paint it in white so i just went ahead and removed it before it was dry 
and then i made this doing the same thing that i did that i showed you with the white that i painted but in this case i just glued my cardboard without painting the part in the middle i started painting the edges without even noticing that i forgot to paint the middle part and then i removed the whole thing i made this for my stud earrings and i made a lot of this ones you just place the earrings like this it's really easy but yeah i'm happy with how it looks i'm happy with the end result hopefully it looks nice and it doesn't look like some kind of like weird art project but if it does hopefully it looks like a cute one i wanted to share this with you and i wanted to leave my kind of like bloopers so you can have a laugh like i did after the frustration was over or if you go for it and you make mistakes as well you know you can fix them but yeah i really hope you like it too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more custom jewelry earrings and earring storage that i have on my channel so for more let me know what you think of this one and share it thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye